I think leadership and my you, my good friend, will probably agree with it. Leadership is so important, regardless of what profession you're in. If you want to have people do things, leadership comes to play. And that is the purpose of leadership, is to get people to do things that you want them to do. Right. And we have the tools, of course, and they're called principles. Mm -hmm. And these principles are wide ranging. And some people discuss them like Max uh, 2021 20, uh, at the Naval Academy. They have what they call 10 principles. Other places I've been there, eight. But they all encompass the same basic thing. Character, vision, attitude, example. Extreme. I think of all the principles, I try to wrap them up into those four or five things. Character being the moral courage to do the right thing. And it consists of integrity and capability. And I mentioned vision. Vision, the ability to see what might happen as a result of your orders or your actions. The British call that seeing on the other side of the hill. Vision. And then I like to put together what I call the right attitude. And here I'm talking about the attitude towards the boss and the institution he represents. The att your attitude towards those people that you're trying to influence. And the your attitude towards your contemporaries, your peers, those people that you work with. And as concerns attitude towards the boss. I think you should never find it difficult to give loyal and willing support to the boss and the institution he represents. An ounce of loyalty is worth a pound of, of smart stuff. And it concerns the people you want to lead, those people that work for you. There are times to be stern and times to be lenient. There are times to be exacting and times to be tolerant. So, you know your people, then you can act this way. Mm -hmm. And as concerns your, the people you work with you, we have to remember that all of us have objectives, ideas, so compromise is often necessary. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to tilt at windmills, but I say when you get in a confrontation with somebody, make sure that the end result is in the best interest of the team. That's enough of that, don't you think? I, I think it's great what you're saying, General. Beautiful exposition. Yeah. You can continue for hours because you are speaking from the heart. From your experience. Well, I li like it's, you. It's, it's like you. Unbelievable. I, I think leadership is so important. And it's not just important in the military. It, the teachers have to have leadership. Everybody. The good businessman mm -hmm. has to be a leader. As you well know. Yes, of course. And actually, the, the, the true leader, uh, because sometimes... Uh, we confuse, or people confuse, a person who is in a position, authority, uh, with a true leader. Let's say was, and and then we have another another kind. Can a person like let's say Hitler be a true leader? Some people say no, some people say yes, he was a true leader. Some people say, like MacGregor, 
he says uh, that he wasn't. He was a power wielder, but not a true leader. So some people equate leadership with uh, um, principles, moral. If you don't, if you if you are immoral, you are not a true leader. And probably that is true. Absolutely. Because the only way if you are a bad person to get people to follow you is either coercing them, buying them, but they don't follow you because they want to follow. And they don't show the character that you And they don't show the character. One thing when we discuss leadership, it's a very simple thing. And that is the example that the leader gives. Because the people that are following you will reflect your character and your example as truly as a mirror reflects your image. Yes. Uh, if the leader is sloppy, vulgar, you can be sure the people that he is leading will be vulgar, sloppy. It's true. Uh, of course, these things are important, but the most important thing about example is the example of integrity, self-control, and sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And self-control is very important. Many leaders don't have self-control. And how do, how do you do you develop that, General? You develop it by overcoming fear by overcoming your appetite, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you have to work on it. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to, and that's, that's difficult. This is one of the weakest things about leaders, lack of self-control. Control. It's true. They blow up. Yes. You know, you've seen it. You've seen yes, it. yes. People, it's true. Yeah. Well, you know more about leadership than anybody I've met. And I, if you don't write that book, I'm going to be bad. <laughs> Thank you, General. <laughs>